aesthetically pleasing, a lovely profile, and a real head turner with styling that dates back to the 90s. Say hello to Mini Driver. Well, maybe not that Mini Driver, but I am sure we can all agree that the latest release from TaylorMade is a thing of beauty. And it all starts with this head cover. And that's where the first question lies in why TaylorMade coming out of this type of head cover on every driver that you produce. The quality is superb. They look superb and... I can get them on and off my driver head without causing me a severe wrist injury. And that driver head cover is in fact reversible but in my opinion the least said about that the better then there is of course the head size 306 cc getting ball oh my word which is a beautiful profile of ample size to give me the confidence that i need when i'm quivering on that first tee shot of the day and that brings me to my second question of the day, and that is, do I really need a 460cc driver head on what effectively is the longest shaft that is in my golf bag? And talking of driver shafts, this is from UST. It is in fact a Pro Force, which I'm a huge fan of. It's what comes as standard in these models. I'm using the 65 stiff and this length of shaft in the mini driver is 43.75 inches, which basically means I can control it rather than what normally happens. And that is the shaft very much controlling me. Now, one word that I would never use in any other driver review is versatility, because let's be honest, drivers are very much a one trick pony. We play them from the tee and very few of us would attempt to play from a fairway. But with this amount of loft on the mini driver, is there a possibility that this offers up a little bit of versatility and an option on a long par five? And based on that strike, the answer is absolutely. Now I would never attempt that with any other driver apart from this thing, but with 13 and a half degrees of loft, it's almost like a strong three wood. And that thing has gone off like a rocket. But it isn't just the loft of the club that make the fairway shot a possible option. It is this newly designed sole unit that they've put on the bottom of this club which they are naming the K-Sole, which is interesting in a way it helps you slide that club head across the turf. I'm just really pleased that the team at Taylor May didn't go with the R-Sole, which didn't quite have the same turf interaction. My wedge game is on fire right now. I've got the camera pointing the wrong way. So we've got to stick around to see if we can make birdie on what was mini driver, mini driver, wedge. Can we roll in the birdie? Turn, turn. Oh, he's got it. I forgot my lines. Too excited about making birdie. The question I was going to ask, which was another one about the shaft this time, which was, do I really need a near 46 inch shaft in my driver head? You tell me. And I will, of course, attempt to give you a more scientific answer to that question in the weeks ahead when I try the mini driver with a full length Proforce equivalent shaft and just see how much difference it makes in terms of control and in terms of distance. That one should be interesting. Now there are of course legitimate answers to all the questions raised so far. It could be argued that that 460cc driver head offers a lot more in terms of weight maneuverability to make that club head a little bit more forgiving. It could also be argued that larger face on that 460cc head offers a larger sweet spot and in terms of length of shaft well obviously there's that capability to generate more club head speed and ultimately hit the ball further but 
I would argue that the one about the club head cover design is a legitimate one, unless any of you can tell me different and disagree that that isn't the best looking head cover on the market right now and for some time. There's also that ability to just move this little ball a little in terms of control from that shorter shaft. Most of the shots you've seen me hit so far this morning, I've been pretty much straight, very much uh, a good old swing and hoof on these things. And I'm pleased to say I found every single fairway so far. We are only on the fifth hole and one of them is a par three, but that shot there was a little bit of left to right, that little cutty one that I like to hit. And again, shorter shaft, smaller head profile. Again, just always gives me that element of confidence that I've got greater control in it. And that's gotta be a huge positive for the mini driver. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Now despite me making a video just last week about the tailor-made Stealth 2 HD driver making its way into my bag, since then this thing arrived and I must admit it has thrown a huge spanner in the works. In fact, it hasn't left my bag since. I always say I put a club through its paces in terms of testing, and I went out to this on Friday and on Bank Holiday Monday. Friday here, you'll see some shots where again, I just hit the ball right from the get-go, found fairway straight away. It's the confidence that this thing gives, and I've asked a lot of questions, whether they're positives or negatives. Well, you answer them for your own personal reasoning. But for me, I've got control. The shorter shaft is helping me find fairways. I am still managing to get good distance out of this thing, and it feels and sounds superb. And there's one other thing. That's another bullet straight golf shot. But I also did mention that was another really interesting feature to be found within this mini driver and the fact that it is adjustable in many ways and not just in the natural sense that we'd associate in the loft sleeve, but also in the two weights that you see at the bottom of this club face in that case sole. The front one being 1.5 grams, the back one being 13 grams, at least in the way that I have it set up this morning. And in theory, that'd be the higher launching, more forgiving model. But if you wanted to change those two weights around, you put the heavier weight at the front, meaning you potentially got a low spinning driver, which also is great to have that kind of adjustability in this club head. Now, as golfers, you'll have no doubt heard the analogy that loft is your friend. And well, to take that example to the extremes, what would you rather have in your hand, a three iron or your pitching wedge? Now, there's two things that make the pitching wedge a lot easier to play than the three iron. And that's a loft difference between the two and also the length of the shaft. You probably see where I'm going with this, but then change that same analogy into your driver. I told you my wedge game was on fire. Get right on it. Sit, oh, just not quite enough. So use that same analogy, switch it into the driver head, switch it into the mini driver head, because what they do is offer two lofts in terms of their standard head profiles, and they are 11.5 degrees, 13.5 degrees, coupled with that shorter shaft. And what happens? Well, you get that greater control, and loft is your friend, don't forget. It helps you get that ball up and out there in terms of using your driver. That's important. Now, so far in terms of the way this driver looks, we have only talking about the driver head cover, which I think is awesome. But what about the driver head itself? Because we can't ignore it. A lot of this driver in terms of visuals and the aesthetics pay homage back to the sort of original burner driver, that bubble shafted driver. We've also got those sort of same color tones and we've got the retro tailor-made text and logo that you see in the club face as well. You then go into the shaft, and again, that Pro 4 shaft has got the same sort of colorings as does the grip. So aesthetically, it looks superb. But then what about that head at a dress, which is the all important bit? It's got the gloss back side to it. It's very much a shrunken down version of stealth, if you like, in many ways, but without that carbon wood face and that 
retro tailor-made logo in the center of the crown just to focus on where that ball needs to be at address but it's the profile that's a real interesting bit for me i've often asked why do we need such a huge lump in terms of that 460 cc head at address on our driver when you think where these have come from and where we are right now there's a huge difference but that 306 cc just seems absolutely perfect on my eye at address and uh, i absolutely love this thing from a looks perspective but that's my opinion and as ever i prefer to hear yours so in today's video we have asked a number of questions that hopefully are the kind that you want the answers to if you were considering buying a tailor-made mini driver and i know for me it throws up some interesting well debates i suppose in many ways in a lot of golfers heads like i said do you need that head size do you need that loft do you need that length of shaft all those things that you've got to question and then there is a price tag which is far more attractive than that of the top end drivers as well so for me this is a real driver that is worth considering for many drive for many golfers for average golfers in particular who are considering all those things as being possible positives to help their game and i do believe that uh, they've packaged this up into something that is really quite special and aesthetically the best mini driver that they've produced so far and arguably one of the best looking drivers in my eyes that's on the bar on the market right now it really is superb in terms of its styling anyway style doesn't find fairways but maybe shorter shaft and a bit more loft does and it's important that you go out and try these things yourself obviously but for my findings at least a real super addition to the tailor-made lineup for 2023 as if you haven't got enough to choose from already and possible another spanner in the works of my own personal bag anyway let me know your thoughts on this if you've tried it then i'd love to know your feedback and uh, help your golf your fellow golfers point them in the right direction by giving some guidance in that comment section down below i'm all done for another night and uh, well chances are i'll see you tomorrow at some stage